Well, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, it's my favorite kind of breathing exercise to incorporate because it's fine for everybody. I do this with when I was a wrestling coach. I would do this with kids of all ages, uh, and just yeah, it's an effect on everyone. It's because by taking these deeper, fuller breaths, we are directly just going right into our nervous system, calming it down, and it just is amazing of just kind of getting out of the mind. The mind is this beautiful thing and it's able to do so many things for us yet at the same time it is uh tony robbins always says our brains are designed to make us survive they're not designed to make us happy and so if you're just kind of allowing that to go on autopilot same thing with our breath if we're allowing our breath and our minds on autopilot uh like it's not always going to be to just like our most uh like our happiest or anything like that it's just going to kind of get us through yeah, especially with the mind. It's just going to find problems in the environment because that's what our brains are designed to do. What's potentially dangerous to me, uh, what's dangerous to my survival or from allowing me to succeed in any way. But then just kind of in connecting with the breath, we understand, like, we're able to get present, understand, oh, like in this moment, I'm fine. The more I do these breathing exercises, it is the more the more these things that I think are super important to me start really dissolving. It's like, oh, I, I don't need to be like that successful. I don't need any of those things. Like I just need this moment right now is perfect. Like however I'm feeling. That's why I also kind of incorporate just like the going into your emotional states and just kind of sitting with whatever it may be. Because at the end of the day, whether you are happy, sad, excited, nervous, whatever it is, it's just a feeling in the body. You can connect with that, just see what it is, uh, and just recognize for the most part you're fine. And that you can also, you know, change whatever that internal feeling is, if it is too uncomfortable or anything like that. So yeah, that's as I said, that's breathing mechanics. You can utilize that literally anywhere. You can do that at any time. Uh, and they even call it like conscious breathing. And for those of us in this, you know, world of consciousness, awareness, uh, I do find that for me, when I start recognizing that I've been on autopilot for too long, uh, it's one of those things where I just kind of feel it in my body. And the first thing is just kind of connecting with the breath by taking those deeper, fuller breaths. You are starting to connect just to the moment, just really, I'm now aware and conscious of how I'm breathing. And then it takes the, the rest of the things, as I'm sure a lot of us uh, experience right now, start to take care of themselves.